Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, we are going to make this beautiful flower pattern which can be used as a mini doily, as a pot holder, as a coaster or even as a table mat. The techniques that I have applied in making this project are chains, single crochet and double crochet. So it is very easy to make and even a beginner can try to make this. This is a very good tutorial for those who want to learn all these basic stitches. So we are going to begin now. Things that we require for this project are yarn of two colors. The choice of colors depend on you. A pair of scissors to use as and when required and a hook that could match to the thickness of the yarn. So let's get started. At first we have to pick up the tail of the yarn of color A, make a loop, insert the hook in, pull through to make a slip knot. Now wrap the yarn on your hook, pull through, pull through. Pull through, pull through and pull through. These are 5 chains. We have to go back to the first one, insert the hook in, pull through. There are 2 loops on the hook, pull through both the loops. This is slip stitch. Now foundation ring is ready. We have to make chain 1, 2, 3 which counts as a double crochet. Yarn over, insert the hook into the ring, pull through. There are 3 loops on the hook, pull through 2, pull through 2. This is double crochet, yarn over, insert the hook into the ring, pull through, pull through 2, pull through 2. These are 3 double crochet. We have to make 12 double crochet including all these 4 into the ring. So this is the 5th one, 6th, 7th, 8th. 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th. Now we have to join the stitches on the top of the 4 stitch. So insert the hook in, pull through, pull through 2. Fourth round is complete. On the top of the 4 stitch, chain 1, 2, 3, which counts as a double crochet. On the top of the same stitch, one more double crochet on the top of the next stitch one double crochet on the top of the next double crochet one double crochet two on the top of the next stitch one double crochet so complete the round by making two double crochet on the top of a stitch while on the top of very next stitch one double crochet two double crochet on the top of very next stitch and one double crochet on the top of next so make the stitches alternatively across the round and we will meet again when this round would be completed when this round is complete we have to join the stitches on the top of the four stitch so insert the hook in pull through pull through two now on the top of the four stitch chain one two three which counts as a double crochet chain one for chain space on the top of the same stitch one more double crochet chain one for chain space skip a stitch on the top of the next stitch double crochet one chain one into the same stitch one more double crochet chain one for chain space skip a stitch on the top of the next stitch double crochet one chain one for chain space into the same stitch double crochet one chain 1 for chain space skip a stitch on the top of the next stitch double crochet 1 chain 1 for chain space into the same stitch one more double crochet so complete the round following the same pattern and we will meet again when this round would be completed when this round is complete we have to make chain 1 now we have to join the stitches into the third chain of the fourth stitch so insert the hook and pull through pull through 2 now we have to cut the yarn from here because we are going to add color B to the pattern. So pull through and pull through tightly. To add the yarn of next color, take the tail of the yarn, make a loop, insert the hook in, pull through to make a slip knot. Now into the chain space of 1, insert the hook in, pull through, pull through 2. Chain 1. 2 3 which counts as a double crochet 
double crochet 2 chain 1 for chain space into the same chain space of 1 double crochet 1 double crochet 2 chain 1 for chain space into the next chain space of 1 double crochet 1 double crochet 2 chain 1 for chain space into the same chain space of 1 double crochet 1 double crochet 2 chain 1 for chain space into the next chain space of 1 double crochet 1 double crochet 2 chain 1 for chain space double crochet 1 double crochet 2 so complete the round following the same pattern and we will meet again when this round would be completed when this round is complete we have to make chain 1 now we have to join the stitches on the top of the fourth stitch with slip stitch. Now on the top of the next stitch single crochet 1, on the top of the next single crochet 2. Chain 1, 2, 3 which counts as a double crochet into the chain space of 1 double crochet 2. Chain 1 for chain space into the same chain space of 1 double crochet 1 double crochet 2. Chain Chain 2 for chain space into the next chain space of 1, double crochet 1, double crochet 2, chain 1 for chain space into the same chain space of 1, double crochet 1, double crochet 2, chain 2 for chain space into the same chain space of 1, double crochet 1, double crochet 2, chain 1 for chain space into the same chain space of 1 double crochet 1 double crochet 2 chain 2 for chain space so complete the round following the same pattern and we will meet again when this round would be completed when this round is complete we have to make chain 2 now we have to join the stitches on the top of the fourth stitch so insert the hook and pull through pull through 2 now single crochet 1 on the top of the next stitch single crochet 2 into the chain space of 1 Chain 1, 2, 3 which counts as a double crochet into the chain space of 1, double crochet 2, double crochet 3. Chain 1 for chain space into the same chain space of 1, double crochet 1, 2 and 3. Chain 2 for chain space into the next chain space of 1, double crochet 1, 2 and 3 chain 1 for chain space into the same chain space of 1 double crochet 1 2 and 3 chain 2 for chain space into the next chain space of 1 double crochet 1 2 3 chain 1 for chain space into the same chain space of 1 double crochet 1 2 and 3 chain 2 for chain space so complete the round following the same pattern and we will meet again when this round would be completed when this round is complete we have to make chain 2 now we have to join the stitches on the top of the fourth stitch so insert the hook in pull through pull through 2. Now into this chain space of 1 double crochet 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 Join the stitches into the chain space of 2 with single crochet into the next chain space of 1, double crochet 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Join the stitches into the chain space of 2 with single crochet. So complete the round by making 8 double crochet into each chain space of 1 across the round 
and we will meet again when this round would be completed. When this round is complete, we have to join the stitches into the chain space of 2 with single crochet. Now we have to cut the yarn from here because we are going to add color A to the pattern again. So pull through and pull through tightly. Now we are going to add color A to the pattern again. To add color A, take the tail of the yarn, make a loop, insert the hook in, pull through to make a slip knot. Now we have to join the yarn on the top of the first double crochet with single crochet. On the top of each stitch we have to make single crochet. So single crochet one on the top of the next stitch, single crochet one, single crochet one on the top of the next, single crochet one on the top of the next, single crochet one on the top of the next stitch, single crochet one. Now we have to insert the hook into the chain space, pull through, pull through two. Into the next chain space, pull through, pull through two. Into the next chain space, insert the hook in, pull through, pull through two. Into the next chain space, insert the hook in, pull through, pull through two. Now turn the pattern and we have to go upwards following the same pattern. Insert the hook in, pull through, pull through two. Insert the hook in, pull through, pull through two. Insert the hook in, pull through pull through two, insert the hook in, pull through, pull through two, pull through two. Now on the top of each stitch, single crochet one. So complete the round by making nice edging of the flower across the round following the same pattern and we will meet again when this round would be completed. We have to turn the pattern into the chain space of 1, pull through, pull through 2, into the next chain space, pull through, pull through 2, into the next chain space, insert the hook and pull through, pull through 2, insert the hook into the next chain space, pull through, pull through 2. Now we have to turn the pattern again, insert the hook in, pull through, pull through two, insert the hook in, pull through, pull through two, insert the hook into the next chain space, pull through, pull through two, into the next chain space, pull through, pull through two, into the next chain space, pull through, pull through two. So complete the round following the same pattern. In all the petals across the round and we will meet again when this round would be completed. When this round is complete, we have to cut the yarn and pull the yarn tightly. Now this pattern is complete. This pattern can be used as a cup coaster, as a pot holder, as a placemat or even as a mini doily. This can be a very good gifting option as well. Thank you so much.